All right, we are back in Stellaris. Like, uh, this is a final countdown, everybody. I suspect we're about to get overrun. Um, but we're going to do our darn bestest to survive as long as possible. Um, and the main way uh, I'm planning on doing that is to get the fleet as big as we can, as fast as we can. I also am going to do something uh, probably super controversial. So let's go through all of our planets. Every single one. Because we need to stop making robots. And the reason why is they have proven that they are too dangerous and um, need to be eliminated from our, uh, <laughs> our empire. So no more machines, only man and an alien um, living in harmony together. Let's see, you have no robots? Very good. I think I don't have much actual robot production going on anymore, which is kind of nice. I'll make this task just a, a little bit easier. Uh, refinery World, why don't you get um, to refining? I could use more crystals, actually. I'm tempted to get some of these, but I don't know. Um, is a planet limited, or can I build it anywhere? I guess I can just build a ton of these, but... Mm, I don't want to eat through my nanites. I still feel like there's stuff I can do with them. So, I'm, I'm not going to do anything with them. Let, let's get more, more of this, though. More moats. And Europa upgrade. Cool. And, and we'll just get a bunch of bureaucratic centers in Europa. I can actually, it's at the top, isn't it? Shoop. There we go. And good, 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 good. That's done. How's the magic doing? You can upgrade, definitely. This is good to do anyway, just kind of going through and checking all of our places. A lot of fortifications, that's nice to see. More of those, the better. My Terran's a disaster. Look at the housing issues. Man, why why are you a disaster? Probably too many robots. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna like eliminate all the robot scum in our empire, and that will be a good thing. We'll probably need to get some cloning vats after we do that. I assume that I'm about to kill a lot of robots. Um, how'd you get the planetary grid here? We'll just make you all like a little bit harder to conquer. Yeah, that's good. No robots here either. Thankfully, we don't seem to have much in the way of robots on the new stuff. I, I didn't really like build them up. I think it's because I suspected that we would have the contingency coming around. So I acted accordingly. Uh, you can upgrade all this. And you can upgrade all this. I suspect we're about to lose some buildings when I do this. But it's for, um, it's a necessary evil. <laughs> uh, we must eliminate, uh, let's see. Oh, I got, oh, I put moats here because you had like a moat thing. Okay. I don't think I have any robot production buildings. I might have just gotten rid of all of them at some point. At least it seems that way. You can upgrade. Can you get more, what is this? Gas extraction wells. You should be able to get support too, right? G, I, I don't, that's weird that you only have the one. Hmm. Oh, I guess it's a habitat that I built over some gas facilities. Um, I guess, well, most of these habitats are not focused on refining. They're focused on being Fortress Worlds, so I'm going to stick with that. And you are a beautiful little bureaucratic center. Which is fine, I guess. Oh, oh, God. It's because this one got conquered, and they replaced all my buildings with bureaucratic centers... I don't think I need this to be a bureaucratic one. I need this to be a fortress world. Oh, idiots. Okay. 
Well, let us fix that. Or do I want it to be? Let's. I mean, it's a size 20 world. I kind of want to turn it into a monopoly and have it focus on like trade. Hmm. A fortress you can monopoly might be interesting as well. Okay, let's do it. First thing first, entertainment. We need that covered. Well, no, first thing first, we're going to spend 20000 on our ecology project. We have a blocker we need to clear. Oh, that's why I didn't upgrade it. Oh, I thought, stupid thing. Okay. Let's, let's deal with that. Where are my science vessels? They're all around Bernard Star instead of... Oh, I should scan and see if there's any... Now that we have open borders, can I go in here and... Oh, I should unblock these now. I'm still salty about the fact that I blocked them, and yet my stupid fleet still used these and, and got, like, messed up. Because it was system restricted, but they still tried to go through the wormhole, which led my fleet getting ruined. Um, I also I never got uh, the shields, I don't think. If we go to ship designer... It doesn't matter what we click on. Yeah, I, I guess maybe they just didn't have them. I got every other thing. I got thrusters and reactors, but no no shields, which is a shame. Because that would have been really handy against um, the endgame crisis that we're facing. Let's see, building habitat. That is good. Are you upgrading? You are. Hopefully that happens as fast as possible. Um, hmm. We do need... I mean, I could just go to the market and, and buy a whole bunch more of this. Yeah, that'll help a little. All right, I, I need a scientist to get the stupid archaeology project finished. Oh, this one here, yeah. He's just kind of sitting there doing nothing. Get that, get that site excavated, just finish it. ASAP. Are there any construction ships back here I don't see any so why don't you I want one back here just in case All right, build that very good now the scary thing about the contingency is they spawn all over the galaxy so I suspect we might end up with one near us a, um, a, a hub and that will be a bad time. <laughs> so, especially with our fleet all messed up like this. Why are you building Corvettes? Sapient combat computers malfunction. Yeah, see, the ghost signal is going to start wreaking havoc on our robotic labor. That's the main reason I want to get rid of them. Um, why are you? Why, why do you have Corvettes? They're supposed to be just battleship fleet. Okay. Um... Let's see. The ghost signal is playing havoc on those of our ships that are equipped with sapient combat computers. Their AI algorithms have degraded to the point where it's been critical to decrease in efficiency and reaction time of the computers. Unable to isolate the problem, their proposed solutions to refit all of our machines with different that aren't linked to an AI. We need to act. Let's do that, actually. Um, let us go to ship designer. So Leica. You're no longer going to be sapient combat computer swarm. I don't think we even want swarm computers, right? We, we want, um, pick it. Yeah. So let's get advanced combat computer, pick it. And save. Yes, please. We'll just go down the list. Uh, Gagarin, we, we haven't used in ages. And we're not going to be building any... We don't need to upgrade the cruisers or the destroyers. We'll keep them just because you need them anyway, but... Okay, and you... We do want line, but we'll go with... Wait, do we want line? Or, or don't we want carrier? Yeah, 
Yeah, we want like artillery, I guess. Ship weapons range and yeah, fire rate. Uh, please like. Oh god. Okay, we'll have to wait till it stops building. All that. Um. We don't need the formidable. Delete that. But the Armstrong Titan is also using. So let's swap it to that and save. Do these, <laughs> these as well. Um, I, I might not actually build many more defensive platforms. I feel like I'm just like losing. At this point in the game, they don't seem to be doing much to slow anything down. I'd rather have like a, a more fleet than anything else. Now, if I go to my fleet manager, you're like a, you're like a Titan, sure. Two out of, wow, they got wrecked. Lycas, Lycas, the fifth fleet. Somehow got, oh, 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 six are in it because it's um just to fill in a gap. And the sixth fleet is also like, a, like we're basically doing Corvette spam. I think I would like to add one more fleet, though. So the 83rd fleet... This is all Corvettes. Let's merge the 83rd Fleet and the the 6th Fleet. Is Corvettes right? Yeah. Both of you merge. There. Um, I would like to get one more Battleship Fleet set up. So let's create new. It's going to be, what, the 7th Fleet? And Battleships probably should be backed up with... Titans, um, yeah, get a Titan, get battleships, and then a little bit more Corvettes. Bump that up. Ooh, that's expensive. Um, we'll start on it though. Just having some fleet ready to like do stuff. I honestly kind of question my decision to like try to build here. Like, maybe we could just give up on these and, and really fortify Wegmore. But, I don't know. Uh, like, I need the exotic gases is the main thing. Oh, right. Let's, um, let's solve our unemployment problem, shall we? <laughs> uh, go to Species. Um, Awoken, you are robotic. Therefore, oh, I know a faster way to do this. We go to our policies. This is going to upset some folks, but... Artificial intelligence. Is, oh, I'll be in breach of advanced Xeno studies. Hmm. Hmm. Gosh, uh, and I don't think, like, outlawing won't remove sentience, it seems. Hmm. Well, let's, let's actually go to the Galactic Community. And, um... So, let's see... Advanced Xeno Studies gives us what? Wait from tech, I see. How do I repeal it? It's this one. 200 influence, mm, you know what, forget it. I was hoping to like eliminate my synth synthetics because they're going to get worse and worse at actually doing anything, but I, I guess we won't be doing that. We are being hailed. I do want to expand. Okay, machine world. A massive energy spike has been reported in the Katana system. The entire surface of one of the system's barren worlds has come apart, revealing some kind of plant-wide factory. 
Um, the vast fleets of strange AI-controlled vessels are emerging from beneath the surface of this machine world in search of targets to attack. Katana system. It's not both well. All right, the first of what will be many has woken up. Let's let's find Katana, figure out where it is. Okay. So the contingency is here. We'll get we'll get all the cool like the ghost signal, <laughs> like you can kind of see it like floating around everywhere. Cool. Um, and then like uh, so oh, now that is like I guess stuck on my screen. I don't know. So the katana system, and they will. Where's the nearest? There's an Elgate right there, so they are coming, and we definitely need our fleet to be ready for this, and they are not <laughs> at all. Um, okay, well, let's let's see what happens. I suspect that it's cool how you can see like the ghost signal like going on in the background. Rising unemployment, a few criminals are no concern. They, I mean, they are of. of much concern, but we all not much we can do. Federation Association being... offer, and eh, I don't care about any of these research agreements. I could try to strengthen um, the rest of the galaxy by signing these research agreements, but you know what? I worked hard to get where I am. If, if they want to I'm rise sorry. up and be I'm better, sorry. then, well, they're going to have to work at it themselves. All right, you are upgraded. Continu Second Machine World. Uh, the Regin system, right there. Okay. Goodbye, Riblor. Um, this time coming from the Regin. After rapidly cooling uh, through some kind of artificial means, a molten plan the system cracked open to reveal an immense planetary factory. Even now, in the machine world spewing forth vast fleets of AI controlled warships. Situation Here we go. Has been updated. Uh, that's that's quite da bad, actually. Like, why do you need upgrades? Oh, it's because I'm I'm of course. I I lowered the they're using sapient AI computers and now they can't. So let's deal with that. Boom. We Upgrading for you. negative alloys. <laughs> well goodbye, Ribbler. Um you really weren't all that good ever. <laughs> I literally made you because I, I want less uh, Empire Sprawl. So, ta-ta. All right, and there's, I think there's going to be like four machine hubs that wake up. This hailed. one's definitely the biggest concern. I think they're hailed. going to really overwhelm us, if I'm being honest. Because this upgrade's taking too long. All right, order restored. The SCOD system. Ogle gas giant spontaneously ignited, burning with the intensity of the small sun for close to a standard day. The plant then rapidly cooled, revealing its metal core, complete with the same plant wide factories that have been witnessed on other machine worlds. Huge AI controlled defensive fleets have already taken up positions in orbit. Situation oh, jeez, guys. Um, okay, so we got one in Ridgen. Where was the third? And, and what are. Ooh, they are big. That's a million strong fleet what what are what are we dealing with here a lot of energy weapons euthanizer class war form okay a lot of energy weapons and the seekers have a lot too it's literally just because they they got like wow a million strong fleet that's scary and they're coming our way Um, I don't think, like, our core, how big is this fleet power here? Because this is, like, the, the most, the strongest fleet that we have is this. 102 military power versus their 1 million. Uh, I think that's game over. <laughs> Just straight up, I don't think we can actually beat a 1 million fleet. Not with our fleet so damaged and busted. And no real production of alloys coming in. Well, um, 
You know, I did want to see what a end game um, 25k looks like, and it's it's certainly a challenge. Um, but I suspect we are going to get wiped out pretty handily, pretty fast. Ship upgrades applied. They got two one million fleets. Ship upgrades. Let's applied. watch Ribblor melt. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, this is like, you know, I want to see what a 25, a size 25 difficulty crisis looks like. And I just was not prepared. Good Lord. They are massive. 1.2 million. Wow. And they have one, two, three, four. Yeah, here come the troops. Fourth Machine World and Porabim. Okay, Toxic Fumes and, and all that. Okay. Situation Let's see where they are. So we got, okay, Contingency. We can actually see them. Contingency here. Down here. They are absolutely going to, like, charge in Terminal Egress. And I just lost, like, a 30k station is not going to stop them. Even if this was completely like hardened, like I, I actually had all the things built, I don't think it'd be able to stop them anyway. Where else are the contingency? There was one up here, right? Yeah. Two right next to me, man. Um, I mean, Wegmore has... Okay, I could upgrade, but... What is this starbase looking like? So Wegmore is probably our most fortified starbase. It's just 44k. It's a joke. Like, I What I need is like many, many, many more fleets. Of battleships, and I just I I won't be able to get it in time. Well, lesson learned. Let's uh let's let it play out though. Let, let's see. I do want to like see the the defeat screen. So, and this is the way we get there. Um, I'm not, I'm gonna stop bothering with that and just focus on. Let's just get explosive weapon damage as high as it can go and upgrade our fleets as much as they can go. We are being hit. And um, yeah, so this is basically the end of the galaxy. <laughs> I don't, I don't see us. This I'm gonna actually cancel because I mean, what's the point? There's no defending it. Um, can I stop building habitats as well? That'll get some minerals back. All you construction vehicles, ret retreat. I do want to build the habitat in here. I mean, even like this bastion, which we absolutely need to defend. There's just no way. How is Wegmore doing? I mean, Wegmore is very like, well, okay. Let's upgrade the Wegmore habitats. We're going to make an effort. Just to see, I do have some very like fortified stuff in most places, so maybe, maybe, maybe I'll I'll be able to do something, right? I mean, like look at the armies on this six k. That's that's quite strong. Um, they don't have plant crackers. That's that's one thing in our favor. So maybe maybe we can hold out. This needs to get built. Come on, it's, it's been sitting there for a long time. Um, like, Tyran also needs to upgrade habitats. So we go continue to do that. I'm going to assume Grenur is lost, which it's not that big of a deal now if we lose it because the um, we, we're colonizing a planet. It's, it's not going to be that big of a loss anymore we, the loss already happened so we don't have to worry about that um this one is an anchorage which 
See, I don't see us holding this, and, and satellites where our matter disintegrator is. Well, if we can build one habitat there, it might help. Let's make an effort, huh? Let's at least try to hold here. Alright, and you... Let's have naval logistics. Let's get... Disruption field. Um, do we want comms jammer? Yeah, sure, I'll slow him down. A comms jammer and... Maybe the defense grid supercomputer? Over a command center. I think the 10% the fire rate is better than having 8 extra platforms. Okay. And defenses wise... Um, I, I, I'm not going to build anything there. I have no alloys left, so. Oh, I do need to get a gateway in here just for added speed. So that, again, let's, uh, let's go to market. And again, just spend all of our energy on alloys. Drive the price of it way through the roof. Uh, and with those 4K alloys, let us... I don't know, our construction ships are kind of doing stuff. But, like, Tyrion, you have a gateway, right? No. Okay, so... Next order of business, we gotta get gateways here and here, so we can do rapid response stuff. We need to colonize this so we can fortify the one habitat in there. And, um, okay, so you, you're both ordered back to the Wegmore system. I'm going to do more than that. Uh, click on one of them. One of you can go here and get a gateway built. So we can do a rapid response thing. I want to be able to bounce between all of our defensive areas as fast as possible so that we have time to respond to things and deal with all the, the incoming, um, you know, garbage that we're going to have to deal with. Somehow we're low on mo moats again, which is crazy to me. But let's see, you are going to take a little bit while, some time to build. Okay. All right, back up to Mugen Merchant Guild. Destroyed. <laughs> I wonder how that happened. Yeah. I bet they're already like completed. erasing everything. Man, it's gonna this is gonna happen pretty fast, I think. The other thing I want to spend alloys on and just like constant spamming of alloys is getting the seventh fleet built up a bit more. Our battleship fleets are the ones that really like the Corvette fleets are gonna get devastated every engagement, but Seventh Fleet, uh home base. Barnard Station, a sign, thank you. Okay. And at this point, we're just like hoping that we can somehow get more alloys we are being hailed. before we get overrun and destroyed. Not interested in forming a federation. ribor has been eaten alive. Okay, good. Navo Navogi Black Hole needed one, too. And mostly because... Okay, it's my, oh, my sole source of dark matter. I really can't lose it. I have no other real way to defend it. So if, if I look at this... You are part of the Gateway Network. Very good. Navogi is as well. And we're getting them up and running like Tyran and Hell's Maw. So this last, um, this construction ship, hmm. What can I do with you? Ironically, I probably need more energy. So maybe I get some energy habitats going, like in Procyon. Hmm. 
how about um, I'll have you come down here and oh I don't have any I use up all my alloys <laughs> I keep buying them but then I immediately use them up just because I, I go and I click the reinforce button all right this fleet can maybe potentially take on a um, one of these fleets but I want I want to be very careful and fight them. Oh, okay. Where was that? Autonomous Cluster. Where are you? So they did go for the L gate. Yeah. Okay. All, all fleets. We probably should defend the L gate. Or do we abandon it? <laughs> um... All fleets to the Elgate. And let's go to our uh, edicts. Right. Because I want. Where are you? Desperate measures. Ship build and fire rate. The, the home territory fire rate plus 40%. That'll be pretty helpful. What is the name of actuators? Resource speed? And I'm going to use nanites for resources. That's I should have done that a while ago. I'm just going to build some nanite um, production facilities on various... Because I, I can afford like three of them. All right. And the, um, the other thing I want to do is go to policies. Let's see. Naval capacity, claim influence, war exhaustion gain. Outpost colony, I don't care about that. Belligerent, name of capacity, war exhaustion gain, claim influence. Hmm. This is just better. Let's see, naval capacity 20%. Yeah. So this will give us more naval capacity. It's going to cost us in terms of people liking us, but I think we need this. Um, the other one I want to do is war philosophy, not war philosophy, war doctrine. What are we on? Defense and death might be good. Hmm. Defense and death. We'll do that. So that our home territories are like very, very strong in terms of fire rate. Engaging hostile forces. Okay, so we're fighting them. Let's see how this goes. It looks like we're doing okay. Corrupt, okay. I don't know, some of our fleets are almost dead. We have lost a fleet. Wow, okay. <laughs> We're losing this fight, and we didn't even do anything against, um... Wow, we, we couldn't stop them at all. That's our entire military gone. That is game. <laughs> um, that's definitely game. We have detected hostiles. Our station is under assault. Um... Wow. Well, I did set it size 25 crisis for a challenge and um, synth infiltration attempt. Synthetic infiltrators loyal to the contingency were recently discovered on like Tyr and blah, blah, blah. Assembled to pass off as humans. Fortunately, their crude disguises consist of little more than layers of rubber worn on top of their metallic frames. They are quickly identified by planetary security, who disposed of them after a brief but violent firefight. Large amounts of explosives were found among the remains. We got lucky. And then if we go to situation log. Okay, so the machine worlds. We don't care about that. Oh, um, but yeah, no, that is game. They, wow, we did nothing to them. They just like, white, like erased us. Uh, we didn't get through their shield, their armor and shields, which is kind of weird. I'm not sure why. Do they have like special stuff? Just medium hyper shields and neutronian armor. There doesn't seem to be much. I mean, their hold points are crazy. 
I don't know. That's a little frustrating. I feel like I should have had a chance. I spec my fleets against them the right way. I did kill um, their their big fleet thing, the 200k. I got the three war forms basically, but then a whole bunch more war forms showed up. I guess my guess is. Um, Basically, the war forms were able to just nuke everything. So, yeah, that's about it. We, we, we could, like, focus on building corvettes because then the war forms are less scary. But, I mean, we lost our Titan. We have a couple of battleships left. That is tragic. But, I mean, we're done. We, we have no way to stop them. They rolled over us, and um, that is... Oh, let's just watch the world burn, huh? Uh, <laughs> like, maybe I'll do, like, a little time-lapse? And, um, I, I don't know. Like, they're all right here, though. And <laughs> instant wipe. Like, I don't see us being able to... Maybe if this had been built in time, like, I don't know. I, I, like, honestly, I had, like, a really good economy, but I guess I just... Okay, another infiltrator. Um, disguised as a human. Anyone could be a synth. Um, at a certain point... Okay, yay, we built the habitat. <laughs> it's a little late for that. Um... Sadly, I don't know. Like, uh, it, it's I definitely wanted a challenge, but I this almost seems like impossible to take on unless you're like just really, really planning for it. So, it's a little bit I'm just wondering how you would be able to fight this because the million strong fleets are uh, I, I have nothing that can really deal with that so. A new world has it's just strange to me, like what, like what you would do to stop them. Then again, like I, I, I neglected my fleet, and I, I, I think the way the way to go is I built a lot of uh, bastions, and they're just not good end game. They're fine early game, but end game they were really not doing much for me, and so that's a lot of alloys I dedicated to bastions. That I could have dedicated to something more effective, like battleship fleets. And if I had had those built, um, maybe I would have had a shot. So, we are being hailed. Like I'll keep reinforcing and see what I can do, but I just I don't see us being able to recover from that, like. This starting up at the point where I just like literally did not have um right, unemployment. I just keep boosting our food production. We have lost Cause like I like, watch how fast this gets wiped. We have lost it didn't even do any damage to them. I mean they're stuck here until they conquer the planets, but it's only a matter of time. We are being hailed. We are being hailed. Because they'll just sit there, they'll bombard the plants and nothing. We have detected hostiles. And they're on Wegmore, our most defensive place. We are being hailed. An admiral exposed as a synth. Oh, great. Um, a string of irregulars and reports of unusual behavior prompted naval intelligence to launch an internal investigation into the admiral. When the truth was revealed, a marine fire team confronted the synth. After a brief struggle, it fled into an airlock and injected itself into space. Despite a thorough research of local space, it has not been found. The real admiral's body was found stuffed into a locker in his quarters. And judging by the state of its decomposition, the synth must have replaced him four months ago. It looks like it was getting ready to transmit a data, data package containing deployment information and other military secrets, but the transmission never got out. There is at least that. Like, I mean, we, we're doing okay in terms of, well, we I don't know, like, 
We're wiping out some ships and keeping them back fit, but... Yeah, let's see. The Vern gun is doing okay. Space Storm dis dissipates. Okay. Eventual collapse, collapse of the hyperspace network thousands of years in the future. Okay. And the moment they were able to get in range, like, the gun got wiped. And now let's see how fast, like, Himeji's pretty fortified, and look how fast it's upticking. Um, this may be critical to our survival. So basically, um, we need to start this project to stop these attacks. And I definitely want to do that. It still takes 77 months, even with our research, which is crazy to me. Um, just shields, uh, energy weapons are no longer really effective because the, they have plenty of armored shields. Appointment. Like, Himeji is ticking up pretty fast, and it's got a planetary shield generator, a lot of fortresses. I, I don't see us holding the line for very long, not without, um... Yeah, well, Gomesha is holding... Holding for now, but like, 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 let's look at, um, I guess they're not attacking Xeon immediately. I mean, I feel like there's no point to really upgrading this stuff. We're about to lose it. We're about to lose the game. <laughs> uh, we have no way to stop these gigantic million strong fleets. I, uh, I vastly underprepared, which, um... I won't do in the next one. The next one I'm going to take it a lot more, like, seriously. And uh, we are going to, like, focus a lot more on military. A machine uprising. Okay. We'll just watch the galaxy burn. Gateway construction. Okay. Uh, well, that's nice for Otiran. Not like it's going to do much good. Um... And, I mean, see, we, we stopped them with our fortified worlds, but it seems like they are... Well, this one got chewed up pretty quickly because it didn't have time to rebuild anything. But if we go to, like, here, this is a proper fortified world. It's holding them for now, but it won't forever. We probably shouldn't have started on that. Oh, this world's going to be taken out so fast. Yeah, I, I never should have done that um, war against the Fallen Empire. We, all being we might have had a chance to we hold out hit. against this if um, I instead of losing so much of my alloys fighting the that empire, I had used it to build up my fleet and prepare for this. Um, oh well, you know, mistakes were made. But it, 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 it's kind of, it works out because, ooh. you know, Nemesis drops tomorrow. Report. This playthrough was done anyway. And I think that um, what we'll do is I'm going to, I'm just going to do a little time lapse and we'll watch everything uh, get destroyed. I don't see us being able to make a comeback in terms of recovering from this. Once they breach one of my little defensive areas, it's it's it. That's it. They're going to swarm right into Earth and take everything over. And it's only Wegmore's going to fall fairly soon. Um, and I don't see us having the ability to build enough of a fleet in time to stop this. So... That's it. Um, it. It's been a good. It's been a good. Uh, like uh, maybe, maybe we had these defense whole platforms like really we invested are being in, we are being but hit. we don't. <laughs> so it's not like they're gonna do much good now. To let's uh, let's watch Wagmore fall. Shall we? Well, it's gonna take some time because I, I this is very fortified. So that that's like a point in our favor, but. The one that I think is going to fail is is Hell's Maw. We, we don't have any anything like if we if we had Varakus and that was really well fortified maybe, but we don't have that. Uh, so let's just zoom out and watch um watch the the red spread all over the galaxy. Huh? So let me um let me go ahead. I'm gonna um cut the recording here and then we'll.
come back in and do a little time lapse and just just watch the end. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. It's it's been a really fun playthrough up until like the end. I I I, I had some moments that got a little bit frustrating because I I didn't. I, you got a plan, right? And and Stars is a game where you're very you you are heavily rewarded for paying attention to details, but you're heavily punished for missing them. And the War in Heaven, I probably would have won if I had remembered to do edicts. If I hadn't charged in all gung-ho, if I'd stayed back and been defensive, um, I, th I think I had a chance to actually, like, if not, like, outright win that war, at least force them to white peace and scan all their dark matter technology without losing a ton of territory and Grenur getting neutron sweeped. Like, if we had avoided all that and avoided losing most of our fleet... Maybe we would have had a shot to survive this one. Like, I think we, we would have had a chance. But at the same time, like, I definitely, in hindsight, I need more alloy production going into the end game. And, um, you know, I, I, like, I, I don't know about investing so much in Bastions. They, they didn't seem to do much good at all. And so... I mean, maybe, maybe you can hold them back if you, like, get to tier 10 repeatable tech in hole and stuff for your defense platforms. But I would much rather invest my time into improving my ships. And so, like, from our next playthrough, we'll have a few bastions, but I'm, I'm actually not going to really invest at all in defensive platforms. Instead, I'm going to build up fleets, and we're going to have about twice the number of fleets that we currently have. We're going to focus on anchorages over defensive platforms. I might have a couple of defensive platforms in the beginning, but we're going to swap this out to anchorages early and just keep building big, big fleets as often as possible. I think that's the only way to defeat a size 25 endgame crisis. So we'll... um. I'm going to do the cut here and we'll just, we'll do a little time lapse and farewell to Xeno compatibility challenge. It's a, it's a bittersweet note. I was hoping that we would actually, um, be able to take on this crisis, but, um, in my hubris, I, I did not prepare nearly enough, but that's the point. It's the point of playing games like this. You want to learn. So the next time, next time you'll be a bit more ready. Now we understand, well, they have million strong fleets. You need to have, like, end game fleets with juggernauts and titans and a bunch of them. Like, a bunch. We only had, like, a couple of dinky corvette fleets and, like, one battleship fleet. I think if we had had, like, five battleship fleets and, I don't know, like, ten of the corvette fleets and they weren't all damaged and everything, we might have had a shot. But, you know, it is. Yep. That's that's how you learn. Like obviously, I was surprised by the strength of this, and um, who knows? Maybe we'll be the last one alive. I don't think so, though. I think uh, they're going after us first. They are right on our borders already. I suspect we will be eliminated once Wegmore Bastions, all the Bastions there fall. Um, we will be eliminated. But uh, you know, it'll be interesting to see. We'll we'll do a little time lapse and. Um, uh, you know, like that, that's it. So uh, enjoy, enjoy the show watching the, the galaxy burn. <laughs> anyway, y'all thanks for tuning in. It's been a run. It's been interesting. And, um, yeah, I, I had a good time with it. I know I got, sometimes I got a little frustrated towards the end because it's, it's, that's trouble with the end game. Right. And I might actually push the end game up a little bit further. I don't know. I'm going to make, I'm definitely making some adjustments. For our nemesis run because I feel like I wasn't challenged enough in the middle of the game and going towards the end game things felt a little bit slow I don't know there was like a stretch of years where not much was happening and I was trying to like say oh this is happening this is happening and I it, it was frustrating to me to record that <laughs> so I, I want something where uh, we ha we were challenged and it's exciting it, it's probably because I popped open the L gate too early and um, then the main, like, danger zones, um, the synthoids, got wiped out um, because of the Elgate situation. I don't know. We, we'll, we'll think about it. Like, um, next run should be fun, though. Look forward to it. Uh, 
actually, it'll probably have already started by the time this video comes out. Um, since I've decided I'm going to release these, instead of releasing them like all in one big batch, which is insane, I'm going to do them once a daily as like a bonus thing so that we'll finish up the series properly, but we're also going to be starting our Nemesis run um, in the future. So anyway, uh, that's it. So long and, and thanks for all the, um, all the liquid metal. I, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, bye y'all.